Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about Napoleon's downfall. And it's, uh, let's start with uh, the Sixth Coalition from 1813 to 1814. France uh, was defeated and Napoleon was defeated by Britain, Russia, Spain, Portugal, Prussia, Austria, Sweden, and some smaller German states. And we can see that once European friends now became European enemies. So the Battle of Dresden uh, in 1813. It, it was a coalition between Russians, Prussians, and Austrians. Napoleon's forces regrouped with Polish reinforcements. 100,000 coalition casualties, 30,000 French casualties. Uh, in, in this uh, uh, war, the French were victorious. So Napoleon's re defeat in Lep uh, Leipzig in uh, 19, 1813. Uh, the Battle of Nations, one more. He got defeated in this war. Uh, Napoleon abdicates. So Allied forces occupied Paris on March 31st, uh, March 31st, 1814. Napoleon was abdicated on April 6th in favor of his son, but the Allies insisted on unconditional surrender. Napoleon abdicated again on April th 11th. What is the Treaty of Font Fontainebleau? Um, it, the Treaty of Fontainebleau exiled Napoleon to Elba with an annual income of 2 million francs. The royalists took control and restored King Louis the uh, 18th to the throne. So we could see that Napoleon's gone and the French monarchy is back. But and let's see what happens so this is Napoleon's abdication so Napoleon in exile in Elba and we can see he's fat now so Elba is off the coast of Italy it's a small island and uh, so this is King Louis the 18th from 1814 to 1824 the hundred days so to understand the uh, France uh, Napoleon's hundred days so uh, in 18 and uh, Napoleon escaped Elba and landed in France on March 1st 1815 and this was the beginning of his hundred days Mary Louis and his son were in the hands of the Austrians we know that uh, Marie Louis was uh, his do uh, wife and his son were both in the hands of the Austrians so the uh, so Napoleon, you know what? I want these. I want my family back, and he decided to attack uh, Austria. Uh, Napoleon got defeated in the, the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, uh, and uh, and this uh, and this got him abdicated once again. This is Napoleon on his way to his final exile on St. Helen. Now, St. Helen is a very small island next to the coast of Africa, as we see here in the bottom left corner. This is Napoleon's residence at St. Helen. We can see the Russian flag flying. This is Napoleon's tomb, uh, and many believe uh, that uh, uh, he was poisoned, uh, but what we all uh, all we know is that he was a great leader, and so great that uh, he was respected by many. Uh, here in this picture, we have Hitler, a picture of Hitler visiting Napoleon's tomb uh, in June twenty eighth, nineteen forty. I would like to thank you for watching this video. This was uh, the fall of Napoleon Bonaparte, and uh, yes, his name is Italian, but he is a French leader and a great uh, military commander. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share, you know what to do, and thank you.